Hey guys, welcome back to lesson five of the Learn to Crochet the Easy Way Masterclass. This is a 14 day program that was designed to help you become confident with the basics of crochet and help you to make the most beautiful things. I'm your instructor, Sigoni, and today we are going to learn the double crochet stitch. One of the four basic stitches we'll be learning in this course. Before we get started, make sure to download a free sample of my Learn to Crochet ebook, and that will be linked in the description box below. For every video, there is a related page inside the ebook where you will find 70 plus pages of full lessons, picture tutorials, both left and right handed, checklists, reference sheets, and access to all of these videos ad free inside the Teachable platform. Now before we start learning how to make the double crochet stitch, I just wanted to recap on your yarn and hook choices. So again, for beginners, I highly recommend using a lightly colored weight 4 or 5 yarn and your hook should be a hook size that is recommended on the label of that yarn. Today we are going to be talking about the double crochet stitch and as usual I am in the US so a double crochet in the US is a treble crochet in the UK. Now let's start learning that double crochet stitch. Hey guys, we have officially reached lesson five and in today's lesson we're going to learn the second basic stitch, the double crochet. Because the stitch is taller than the single crochet, it has a couple of extra steps, but don't let that scare you. The double crochet is probably my favorite stitch because it works up quickly and there are various techniques you can use to make it look different at any time. We won't be learning any of these techniques throughout this course, but just know that it's a very versatile stitch and you're going to love it once you get the hang of it. To start, go ahead and create your slip knot, then chain 13. The first thing that we're going to do differently than the single crochet is we're going to yarn over our hook before we insert our hook into the next stitch. Go ahead and yarn over your crochet hook and insert your hook into the fourth chain from the hook. So we have one, two, three, four. So we're inserting it into the fourth chain and we're going to yarn over and pull that loop through. Now you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, make sure your hook is facing down, and pull that strand through two loops. Now we have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. And that is your double crochet stitch. Now let's try that again. So first we're going to yarn over our hook find your next stitch which is right here. This is the chain that you just double crocheted into so we're going to go to the next chain here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two and before I do that Remember to use your thumb and your middle finger and you can pull your work down so that it's easier to pull through those loops. Okay, and I'll do it again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull up. Three loops, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now continue double crocheting in each chain until you reach the last chain. Oh, and one more tip. Whenever you yarn over, it might help to use your pointer finger to hold that yarn in place as you insert your hook into the next chain so that it doesn't fall off. And you can do the same here if you need to.
Okay, and here is our last chain here. So we're going to double crochet into this chain. Okay, and this right here is our slip stitch from the beginning when we started our chain. So of course that does not count as a stitch. And this is our first row of double crochet. So let's go over this a little bit. So here you see on the front is the post of the stitch. So this is the top of the stitch here, and this is the post. Because the double crochet is so much taller than the single crochet, you can count by the post if that's easier for you. So let's go ahead and count the post. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is our chain three. Remember at the beginning of this round when we placed our first double crochet into that fourth chain? Well those three chains that we skipped at the beginning counts as a double crochet. So we have 11 double crochet in this first row. Now moving on to row two, we're going to chain three for the double crochet. Remember this is called our turning chain and we need to chain three at the beginning to reach the height of the double crochet. And like I just said when I was going over counting them, the chain three for the double crochet does count as a stitch. So whenever we're working our second row, this chain counts as a stitch, which means we'll be placing our very first stitch into this stitch here. So not this stitch, this is the first stitch, but because this counts, it's basically like this is a stitch. So we're going to be placing our very first double crochet into this second stitch here. So yarn over, insert your hook under both of those loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there you have it. And you have a hole here because we skipped that first stitch, but this is normal. The more rows that you crochet, the more it'll straighten out. And I'll show you that as we go along. So go ahead and double crochet into the very next stitch, which is right here. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we'll do that one more time, pretty slow. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to continue double crocheting slowly across the row and you continue to do the same. Now I'm going to stop here to explain this last part just a little bit. So now we have two stitches left in this row. This right here is an actual double crochet, so you can see the stitch here. But then we have that chain three that I was telling you about that we skipped in the beginning. You will also double crochet into the top chain of that chain three. So you don't want to forget to put a double crochet there. So I'm going to double crochet into the next stitch. and then double crochet into the top of the chain three. And sometimes it can be a little tight, but just squeeze it in there. All right, and there you have your second row of double crochet. So let's go over this really quick again. We should have 11 double crochet in this row. So we have one, and this is our chain three from the beginning of the row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we still have the correct amount of stitches in each row. And that's it for the double crochet. Continue this swatch by repeating row two. 
chain three and double crochet in each stitch across. Remember, you can always go back and rewatch the steps as many times as you need to. Okay, so I've stopped here at row five so I could show you really quickly how to count your rows. So here I have five rows of double crochet. So we have our foundation chain, and that is the, after we made the slip knot, we created a chain of 13, and then we double crocheted our first row. So this is row one, row two, row three, row four, and row five. This is the front side of the stitch, and this is the back side of the stitch. And that's how you can kind of tell between each row. All right, so now it's time for your challenge. My challenge to you is to create a swatch just like this one, but I want you to create yours with 10 rows. And if you wanna keep going, keep going. The more you practice, the easier it will get. Now, once you're all finished with your swatch, I want you to take a couple inches, cut your yarn, and remember to tie it off by yarning over and pulling that yarn all the way through then pull tight to make a knot, and use your tapestry needle to weave in your ends. So to weave in the ends of the double crochet, it's a little bit trickier than with the single crochet, but really it's the same kind of thing where you just have to insert your hook to a few different stitches, try to make it hidden if you can, but don't worry too much about it because I doubt you'll be able to notice once you're all finished. So the only thing is to make sure that you go in at least three different directions. And once you're done, go ahead and cut your yarn as close as you can, but not on your stitch. And there you have it. Keep this swatch, whether it has perfectly straight lines or not. If it is wonky, keep it, do not throw it away, and don't rip it out because we're going to use these swatches later to compare our progress. And I would love for you to take a picture of your swatch and send it in and leave it in the comments below or share with our friends in the Facebook group. In the next lesson, we'll talk about how to make sure your edges are straight every single time. And that's it for the double crochet stitch. If you have any questions on this stitch, making this stitch or anything, just leave them in the comments below and I will happily get those questions answered. And since you've learned two stitches so far, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Do you like the single crochet or do you like the double crochet? Please, please remember, again, your challenge is to keep this swatch or to at least take a picture of it. That way you can look back and see how much you've improved in the future. Remember that your stitches do not have to be perfect. Your tension doesn't have to be perfect. Your edges don't have to be straight. We are focusing on learning these stitches, how to create the stitch. We're not learning how to keep our edges straight. That's for tomorrow's lesson. So tomorrow in lesson six, we will be talking about how to keep those edges straight. Again, check the description to download a free sample of my Learn to Crochet ebook. And as always, I'm your instructor Sigoni, and I will see you in the next one.